Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Friday the 8th, and today was a beautiful, lovely day to be alive. Got this morning fairly early-ish, um, got around, got a few things done, got the dogs all outside, jumped in the hot tub for a little bit, uh, wife got up and got herself off to work without issue, everything went smoothly there, had a couple of things get done, then I headed over to go feed some cats. Um, while we were new Smyrna, um, got there and um, basically they got some ducks out back. They feed also some, I don't know if they're wild ducks or what the hell they are, but they're just ducks they're feeding. So, and they're an outside cat also. So I went out there and basically oh. got the ducks fed. And as I come walking out with the duck food, I had one of the ducks like jumped up and like flew like right at my head, like it was trying to attack oh. me. And I was like, well, that's just not cool. I swatted it out of the air because I mean, ducks aren't really gonna harm you, but it's annoying. You got a hole bunch and there's probably 15 or 20 of them out there that are just losing their damn mind so kind of is what it is but yeah I went ahead and got them fed got the cat fed came back in take care of the inside cat and the inside cat was down in the front bedroom so I got to see it a little bit and it's not really friendly at all so it was went to offer to give it a little bit of pets the cat was hissing at me so I was like out of hell with it so went ahead and took care of the rest of the stuff had to be done and cleaned the litter box all that fun stuff and then headed back out and um, got back to the house, uh, had some parts ordered from a local Napa store, but they weren't going to be in until like 11 o'clock delivery. So pushed that off to uh, grab me over to get it because there's no purpose. And they're not going to be there yet. So got back to the house, hung around there for a bit, um, chilled out with the dogs, just kind of enjoying the day the best I could. And then got a few things done, got a little yard work and whatnot done here and there. Um, reached out to a company who builds custom sheds looking to get in a shed built and part of me keeps saying just do it myself but they're buying their lumber and stuff and so much more in bulk and they're not going to have as much waste as i will have that it's only going to save me probably like i don't know at most a thousand dollars to do it myself and then if i screw up some stuff it saves me even less than that so I'm trying to make the decision if i just want to say the heck with it and just go ahead and just have them do it or if i want to build it myself so i gotta check into the one problem i have is when i start building something i'll get a change in my mind that i have to change that i want to change but around here getting permitting and stuff is ridiculous because i have to get like permit like submit um plans like actual blueprints to them type thing of like schematic of what i want to build and then if i make my change they can deny the whole thing and revoke the permit. So I, then I don't know how you go about getting it legal to keep your building. So yeah, I don't know, who knows? We'll see how that goes down. I gotta figure that out. I mean, gotta do some looking around and buy some windows and some doors and stuff that I need to put into it. But I'm just wanting to make like a little wood shop to set up my CNC um, router and that stuff in there and kind of give myself a little work area to kind of have it. Cause right now it's at the old house still and I'm not using it. And I kind of want to get back to using that darn thing. So we'll see how that breaks down if I get around doing it or not. Who knows? So I finally realized it was late enough. The parts would be in at Napa. So I drove over and um, basically went and picked up the parts. And the part I ordered that we supposedly were, he supposedly measured doesn't fit. And I'm like, well, I might be able to sand it down and grind it and whatever and make it fit. But just it's doesn't make sense what it's doing. So Went back and also the lug nuts they got me that to fit the new rims I'm putting on my Suburban are not what I asked for. I asked for open-ended nuts so I could see the lug sticking through to make sure I had enough lug coming through there. And he sent me some enclosed cap style that I can't see how many threads actually got a hold of. So not really super excited about that. I think I was selling to me, he's like having it. He's like, well, there's only seven sixteenth lug nuts. That's a lot of rotated mass for such I'm like, he realizes it's the same size lug nuts that We've got cars that are running 800 horsepower on the track. They're saying 7 16th lug. So I understand you think you're being helpful to me, but I'm good, dog. Like these are a lot of cars have these same size lug nuts. So the same size lugs. So who the hell knows there? But went back, uh, went by and checked to see if my hoses were done yet from air conditioning. They're not done yet. So ran back over to the shop and looked at it. And I actually picked up the pulley, the old pulley, and looked at it. and. They're sanding a one inch spacer to push the pulley out one inch off my water pump to line up with the belt. I'm like, God, one inch is too far. Doesn't make sense. So got back home, started looking and called Summit, which is where I ordered the pulleys from. And I told them I had a short water pump and that's what they said they sent me. But 
the measurements that the pulley I have is actually for a long water pump, which is why it needs a spacer behind it to push it back out farther because it thinks it's pushed too far back towards the engine. So, <clears throat> yeah, not really excited about that, but got Summit to um, resend me a new one. Hopefully we'll get it figured out and we'll go from there and I don't know, five days from now, I'll have a new pulley, and hopefully that'll be the right pulley that lines up. If not, I don't know what my next step is. So I actually even looked into just ordering a long water pump. Just replace my water pump, which I still might do if the pulley is wrong. But it's, I don't know. I hate to change out the water pump if I don't have to. I mean, the water pump I got is good. I kind of want to stick with the short water pump because it's just it's what's on there. That's what's called for in that style of truck. So but when I measured out and the, there's no dimensions online anywhere no, the measurements he told me it's supposed to be two and five eighths and mine is like three inches so it's about an inch off and I'm like okay that's not right you got something the wrong damn pulley so they're sending me a new one I got 30 days to send the old one back but I gotta wait till I get the new one here so I can hold them up side by side and see if it's different and if it is we can bolt it up and it all goes smoothly and we're good to go if it doesn't then I don't know what happens. I asked them if they would possibly please just go ahead and um, just take it out of the box and measure it. I'm like, oh, no, we don't do that here. You gotta. I'm like, why? Why waste the five days and the money to ship it and all that stuff? Then I got to return it and everything else. I'm like, this just seems so dumb. So just open the box and tell me if it's different size. If it's the same size, we're wasting time here. So, but yeah, so we're in that process there. And then I also look lug nuts. They're charging me um, like, six dollars a piece for lug nuts and i can get four for ten and we have the exact same style they're trying to sell them for six bucks a piece so i'm going to return all those lug nuts and then i order them online which i get them for like a dollar 87 a piece online and they're ones i actually want with the open back so kind of is what it is i did take the um, rear brake disc off of this the new kit that i have going and it bolts up to the rim that i have for the truck so that's a good thing there at least i got that part done but the center, the little plastic center caps that come with the GMC wheels that I bought don't fit, but I don't give a shit. These are completely temporary wheels and tires just to get the truck on the ground, get it driving, get it all aligned and stuff, make sure it's right where I want it there. But then once it's sitting where it is, I get it lowered down to where it's going to set, I can then measure to see how much tire I get to fit in there. So I want to put much bigger wheels and tires on it and don't know if I'm going to go with some steelies or what I'm going to go with yet, but get that figured out and all the fun that comes with it. But I can't measure my backspace and stuff till the truck's all back together. And then once it's back together and on the ground, I can see how much room I have. And then we can figure it out after that. But yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. And the crew that's doing it is slow as fucking molasses. Holy crap, they're so slow. They're absolutely ridiculously slow. But got done with them, um, got that figured out. Decided to go ahead and get my run in. So I got that done. Um, got back my run, got myself a shower. Um, Karen got home from work and mom was making some frozen lasagna and it was supposed to take like an hour and it had been there for an hour and the center was still frozen hard. It's like, well, that's fucked up. So we slept in there for like another half an hour trying to get it cooked through. And it cooked through enough, but I don't think it was fully done. It was kind of mushy still, kind of, kind of wet, but it was edible. So had that for dinner and then kind of hung around a little bit. It was about time I was going to head out to go play cards again with some of the guys I met. One of my buddies, Paul, he had some friends of his up in Port Orange that we go play cards at. And it's funny because I got to drive like way out of the way to go to this house. It's like a really weird spot where he's at, but it's a pain in the butt to get to. So it makes it like a half an hour drive, even though it's 15 minutes, if I could just jump across the interstate. Like I could literally park on the side of the interstate and walk to his house quicker than I can drive there. But well, life goes on. So I took off, headed up there. Um, got there i was first one to show up um it was a smaller group this time there's only six of us playing instead of the 10 we had last time which 10 was a bit much it was a full ass table last time but the six guys were there all hanging around having a good time and last time i was first man out on the um, little tournament play but it's the first time i play this guys everybody else knows each other so they kind of know how each other plays so it kind of doesn't doesn't help me any in that process but even the cards i folded out there was only um two hands i would have even won the card hands that I didn't that I did fold that I wouldn't see because so it's like two seven you fly a pair of twos on the turn you know on the you know so I'm like well there's who the hell staying with a two seven you know nobody is so kind of got that whole laugh about that a little bit but went ahead and said hell with it and then basically from there so I was last one out last time this time I got some other cards and we were playing along we we're doing pretty good and um 
just kind of chasing a few things here and there and had a few good hands and was winning a little bit here and there off and on and this was the first skill I had last time I only won one hand the whole time and the whole night and there's only like I said only two I would have won if I'd stayed in so definitely was a bad drawing night last time but ended up doing pretty good uh, one of the guys went out early uh, he got like, not that early and then another guy went out and then I got to go to the bathroom I came back and dealt the cards out and I went to make my bet and all my chips are gone I'm like, what the fuck happened? The guy to my left had scooped my chips into his pile somehow. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, hold on, wait a minute here. And that, we believe it's an honest mistake, but it's still a screw up. And I was like, what the hell, you gotta be kidding me. So he started getting back what he thought was not his and it was my stack and whatever. And I'm glad you're proud of yourself there. But went ahead and we were sitting there stuff. We made another round of the hand. I'm like, wait a minute, he said something about green chips being played, which are 5,000 um, point chips. And he's like, he goes, well, you start with two. And I said, well, you got three in the stack right there. So how in the hell have you only been played? He goes, oh, so we, he definitely gave me the wrong stack there. So I got back at least the other 5,000. But I think I was, I think I ended up losing probably four or 5,000 chips in the process. But oh, well. But it was that whole concept that nobody even noticed he took them. And I didn't notice it until I went to make my bet. I reached for my chips to put the chips in to call a bet. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell's happening here? So ended up back and forth. Um, ended up, a couple other guys went out, sent it down to just Paul and I, and offered to split the pot. So we just cut the winnings in half. And I had a bigger stack than he did. But I'm like, that's up to you guys. You guys want to leave? You know, this guy owns a house. If he wants to go to bed, he's already out. He had to get up in the morning to go to a 5K race. But he goes, ah, we're good. So I'm like, let's keep playing a little bit. Who cares? So went ahead, and it's not a, it's a $20 buy-in, so who cares there. But went ahead, and we played it for a little while longer. And then... I end up um, losing a big hand to Paul. So now the chip seat stack were a little bit closer to even, but I still had him out chipped a little bit. And we were back and forth, and I ended up making a final call that put me short stacked. And at that point, there was really no chance of coming back from it coming that far in. So but we played a little longer, and then Paul won. So it's all good. So I took second place this time. We went from first out to second place, which is not bad. We had a good conversation, a good time. It was worth the 20 bucks. Just for the hanging out, you know, being around a bunch of guys and just doing oddball shit. So headed back home, um, got to the house, drove back, it's dark. When I got there, it's dark when I come back, but got back and ended up lighting myself up a cigar as I headed back. And then finished up my cigar outside, got the dogs outside, played them for a little bit. And did not have one of my advent cigars from my calendar because I don't know when I open it, what it's gonna be. So it's that weird concept of like, well, it could be a cigar, it takes an hour and a half. And it's definitely too late for that. And I didn't want to light it, smoke half the cigar on the way to the poker game, then try and relight and smoke half the cigar on the way back. I just didn't want to risk that. It could be a really good cigar I'm a fan of. So skipped it. So now I got to decide do I want to smoke two Advent cigars tomorrow or do I want to push it off like December 26th and then smoke today's cigar then. But hard telling. So, but yeah, I'm just kind of living the whole thing, enjoying it up there, um, chatting with the guys and stuff. Like I said, I know Paul from, he's been on a couple crews with him and stuff, been to a couple parties and stuff that him and his now wife have thrown. And they always do like a costume theme for their parties and stuff, so it works out kind of interesting. We had like one that was a um, pick a music artist or genre you want to be. And then one was alien theme. So, but we've just been out there doing our thing and having a good time. So, yeah, overall, that's pretty much it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.